My name is Ann Fontenot, and I have been at the Boulder Pottery Lab, the city of Boulder Pottery Lab, off and on since 1970. I came in as a young pregnant m mother and met Betty Woodman and immediately fell in love with clay. I've been um, doing this off and on when I could do it, in between having kids and careers and things like that, and now I'm retired and back. And the city of Boulder is trying to make all of their programs more sustainable, and the, the Pottery Lab needs to help figure out how to be sustainable, and so we're, there's a group of people called the Friends of um, the Pottery Lab, and we have gotten together and tried to figure out ways to make the, the Pottery Lab more sustainable. Recently, we had a um, consultant, the city hired a consultant from California that came out and spent a couple of days interviewing staff and volunteers and students, trying to get their ideas as, as to what should happen um, with the Pottery Lab, and we ha came up with lots of good ideas. We feel like they um, listened to us very well and took some really good notes and spent their time wisely. And we're very encouraged and hope that maybe um, in October when we get their, their uh, report, there will be some real innovative ideas as to how to stay viable. You know, we've been here for 55 years and um, we, it's just, the, the Pottery Lab is sort of like a, an icon in Boulder. It's like Chautauqua or the Pearl Street Mall or McGuckins or places like that, you know. It just needs to stay as one of our gyms in Boulder. Thank you.